Question number eight, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tēnā koutou My question is to the Minister of Education and Arts. Huh? Order. Can we just proceed with the question, please? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mallard. My question is to the Minister of Education and Arts. Will the Education Amendment Bill allow private business to set up charter schools on the site of closed state schools? Honourable Mr. Mr Speaker, the Public Works Act, not the Education Amendment Bill, continues to govern the process for the disposal of any super... Point of order. Order. Sorry, with all the chatter from this side of the House, I couldn't even hear the Minister start her answer. Order. I appreciate order. the... Order. I couldn't there hear it at all. There was substantial noise from many parts of the House. I couldn't hear the start of the answer, but the Minister now start the answer. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. The Public Works Act, not the Education Amendment Bill, continues to govern the process for the disposal of any surplus Crown land, including, where relevant, schools. Point of order, sir. Point of order, Materia Turo. My question had nothing to do with the Public Works Act. It was a question expressly about provisions, whether provisions exist or not, in the Education Amendment Bill, I would like an answer to my question. And that does not seem unreasonable to me. I can see the connection with the Public Works Act, but would the Minister please attempt to answer the question? She's had the question, or her office has certainly had the question, for three hours. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, in order for closed state schools to become available for other purposes of the kind that are being asked in this question, they have to be subject to the disposal mechanisms of the Public Works Act. Order, sir. So that we take that to be a yes. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Order. Order. Point of order, Right Honourable Winston. Speaker, you cannot take that to be a yes because the Minister said no to your statement. Now, look, we cannot waste the public's time and Parliament's time with that sort of response. Order. Order. I don't believe that's the case. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can the Minister confirm that she told Cabinet earlier this year that, quote, the most practical options for the first partnership schools are renting premises, including existing educational buildings such as a closed state school, or by a private school converting to a partnership school? Honourable Hikia Parata. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, I can't confirm that. I would have to um, investigate the, minister, uh, the member's assertion. Point of order. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. I seek leave to oh, table... Oh, is this a point of order? Point of order, sir. Point of order, Materia Ture. I seek leave to table a Cabinet paper signed by Hekia Parata on 13th of the 2nd, 2013, saying that uh, partnership schools, uh, the most practical option for partnership schools, are existing educational buildings such as a closed state school or a private school order. converting That's to a partnership sufficient school. Sufficient information. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How supplementary many... question? Supplementary question. Supplementary question, material too, right? Thank you, Mr Speaker. How many of the schools closed in Christchurch were done so purposely so that private businesses could take them over as charter schools? And, if none, will she rule out the use of those closed Christchurch schools for private businesses to make a private profit from, from charter schools? Supplementary. Uh, uh, Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, to be clear, the Education Amendment Bill is um, focused on partnership schools, not on charter schools, which the member keeps um, identifying them as. So the Education Amendment Bill is about partnership schools. Partnership schools are yet to be considered for approval or not. What is happening in Christchurch is on a completely separate timeline to partnership schools. Point of order. Point of order, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question... Uh, was twofold order, and was order. very specific. I, I suspect the Minister didn't hear your question uh, clear, clearly. Would you please ask the question again? Thank you, Mr Speaker. How many of the schools closed in Christchurch were done so purposely so that private businesses could take them over as charter schools, Minister? And if none, will she rule out the use of any closed schools in Christchurch for private profit charter schools? 
Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, in answer to the first part of the question, none. I don't know. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Order. Supplementary question. Material two right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Doesn't her own signed-off plan to give closed state schools to private businesses to make a profit under charter schools, and her plan to convert private schools into fully funded charter schools, show that this policy for what it really is? which is an attack on public education and a backdoor plan to give private schools more and more public money, Minister. Mr Speaker, no. <laughs> Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister. Will she, guarantee that to the, will she give the people of Christchurch a guarantee that she will not approve the opening of a partnership school on a school site where she has closed a public school? Um, Mr Speaker, uh, no, I won't give guarantees of that nature because they are two separate policies and the whole point of schools is that they be used for educational purposes. They are quite separate decision processes. Order. 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 Question number nine, Simon O'Connor. My question.